this example, we will show you how to turn a quote into an order or an invoice. In this example, you can see the quote has been accepted by the client and they have paid a deposit. So now we can mark this quote as one. Once we click that button, it will now give us the option to create an order or an invoice. Based on your business, you may need to create a sales or work order if certain items in this quote are not in stock or may need to be produced. In that case, simply create click on order and the system will automatically select all the items the customer has selected and you can click create order. Or you can simply jump to create invoice if everything is in stock and good to go. And when you do so, you can select the net payment term. In this case, the customer has a net 30 by default in their system profile. You can also choose one of your choice. Make sure you include the nine line items. Create invoice. And then you can proceed to make any further changes before finalizing the invoice. Usually, most of the sales do not require to do so. And once you're done making your changes, simply mark it as done. And then you'll receive a pop-up with the deposit that was received on the quote. Simply click Apply Payment. And then the invoice will have an updated balance, which will show partially paid. Now you can proceed to either SMS the client or write an email and send them the invoice through email, which they can then proceed to pay online when they receive. Or if you have the credit card saved on file, you can click receive payment and proceed to use the card that you have saved in the back end. So in this case, you can see 1725 credit card, choose the card on file that you have saved and apply the payment. And now you can see the invoice will show fully paid.